once Narendranath, who, who would be the future Vivekanand, he was sitting at the master's feet in Dakshineshwar. And Sri Ramakrishna was sitting on his cot. He suddenly turned to Naren and said, Naren, won't you plunge into the ocean of immortality? Huh? You will get everything when you plunge into it. Suppose, suppose you were a fly and I gave you a cup of syrup to enjoy. How would you enjoy that cup of syrup? And Narendranath says, why? I would sit in a corner at a particular edge and I would stick out my tongue and sip a little syrup. Because you see, if I went far into the cup of syrup, I might drown in it. Then Sri Ramakrishna says, Nare, not like that. This is the syrup of immortality. Satchidananda is the ocean of consciousness. How can you become unconscious by plunging into consciousness? How can you become, how can you drown in it? You will become immortal if you plunge into it. You will become only more fully conscious, isn't it? If you plunge into consciousness. So, the state of Brahman is to be entered into. This is knowledge according to Vedant. Brahman is to be known only when you become Brahman. Then only you can know it. Brahma with Brahmaiva Bhavati. It is consciousness is to be entered into. The essential unfoldment happens in our own awareness. It opens into full consciousness. It becomes fully aware. Pure awareness because it is conscious by itself. The only thing which is self-luminous by itself. So it is called consciousness. So the more you plunge into it, the more liberated you will become. Immortal you will become. So this beautiful description is there in Vedant. It is called Tatastha Lakshana and Swarupa Lakshana. It is so magnificent. You see, this is how they, they illustrate this particular point. Suppose you were standing on an ocean front, on the beach. And I asked you to describe the ocean. Now you are standing on the Tata. <laughs> Tatastha means this only, standing on the bank of a, say, a river or the ocean. You are standing on the beach and I ask you to describe the ocean. How will you describe the ocean? Oh, it is so vast, full of water and it reaches out to the horizons. You can hardly see what is beyond it. This is how you would describe it. But suppose I told you, now you enter the water and describe the ocean to me. When you enter the swaroop of water, the feel of water, then how will you describe the ocean? You will, you will say it is warm, or cold, the feel of water, what it is like, this is how you will describe the ocean. So you describe Brahman, you know Brahman only by entering into it. Consciousness is not another vritti in the mind. It is only through meditation that you can plunge into it, enter into it, that is how you know it. So all these beautiful descriptions are there in Vedant. Parallel description you will find in the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. Once Sri Ramakrishna tells M, M is again sitting in front of him. Sri Ramakrishna turns to him suddenly and says, You know, a man gets one kind of knowledge by reading in the scriptures. He gets another type of knowledge of God by practicing sadhana and meditation. And he gets a still another kind of knowledge a totally different kind of knowledge when God himself reveals himself to him. Then he says, just like how if you enter a room, a dark room, and you light a matchstick, as it dispels darkness suddenly, so also God lights up the human heart with his knowledge. Then you know him best. So you see such profound expressions of the highest. You will find it all in the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. That is one book you shouldn't miss. It will make life worthwhile. Just reading and contemplating on the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna.